Alrighty, welcome to this short video on some engine building tips, specifically the Mazda 6 2.2 diesel fitted in the Mazda 6 and 3 and CX-7. Um, they're quite well known for, for blowing up. As you've, if you've seen any, any of my previous videos, you'll see some explanations of how they, they blow. Um, so just on that point, um, before we you put them together, um, cleaning this and cleaning everything is super important before an engine is put back together. As we can see, this is the actual engine block where it's been properly washed and all the oil holes, the galleries blown out for any to remove any white metal that may be there. The block's been washed, properly dried, and that that's how an engine block should look before it's put back together. Um, and a cylinder head um, should be properly skimmed, tested, washed, dried, ready to put, be put back together. So we'll go to the engine we're, we're, we're working on. We've just installed the pistons and crankshaft um, to, this, to this block. Um, the con rods are not connected yet for some reasons. We want to make sure the crankshaft spins freely after it's properly torqued down. So this, the, this has been properly fully torqued. So if we just grab the crank and it's just been totally free with zero resistance after, it's important that after it's fully torqued down. There should not be any resistance whatsoever after it's torqued. Then we're ready to connect the con rods and torque them down. Okay, so we, we've just fitted the con rods and, and torqued them down fully. So the first thing we check for is we need to grab each rod and if we go in close, what we're looking for is, it's difficult to do with one hand, is that the, the, the bearing cap floats. And what I mean by that is when you're looking for that little bit of side to side movement, can you see that? Oil squishing between side to side. That means that the con rod, each con rod, is fully round and true, and the rod will will rotate uh, correctly as the crankshaft rotates. And lastly, we need to check all four rods for that. And lastly, once it's all torqued down, we just need to grab it and make sure the engine turns nice and freely, like so, with very little resistance. Okay, so that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. Um, and thanks for watching. Share it on your Facebook, social media. Hit the like button, all the usual stuff. Um, and stay tuned for more.